Mornings are so important. They set the tone for the whole day. I'm always the first one awake in the morning. My internal alarm clock goes off without fail around 6 a.m. Honestly, the hardest part of my morning is sneaking to the front of the house without waking the rest of the family. We have a closed floor plan and I love it. I always make sure to close the doors to the kitchen behind me in the hopes that everyone else will sleep in. We live in a 100 year old home with 100 year old floors and trust me, those floors sound every single bit their age. In fact, I've actually memorized the right path to walk to make the least amount of noise. After that, I make my way to the front of the room to open the blinds and let the light just shine right in. And then I'm ready to get started with my day. Since I'm a mom, my morning routine isn't just about me, so it does not always look the same. However, there are certain things that I try to do every morning. So today I want to share my top five minimalist morning routine habits for a happier morning, a better day, and a brighter tomorrow. Also, I just wanna let you know that this video is part of the Make a Motivation collaboration along with The Minimal Mom. So after you watch my video, make sure you go and check out more morning routines from all the other fantastic creators which I will make sure to link down in the description box below for you. And before we dive in, give that like button a little tap, tap, tap a -roo. And if you love videos on minimalism, decluttering, and financial minimalism, please consider subscribing to join our family because we would love to see you around again soon. The first thing I do in the morning is move my body, even if it's just a little bit. My husband and I share one yoga mat, and each morning I do the five Tibetan rites, which are a lot like yoga. I think I found these exercises in a library book a long time ago, and I honestly can't even remember what book I found them in, but the rights are the only thing that stuck with me after all that time. They are my favorite morning exercise. Every once in a while, my kids also wake up early and sometimes they join me for these exercises, which is perhaps a little less effective, but usually a lot more funny. I feel the bird. I feel the bird. <laughs> I feel the bird. After my morning exercises, what I do is go quietly into the kitchen and grab a glass of water. A glass of water first thing in the morning has so many benefits. It helps wake me up, it hydrates the body after a long nighttime fast, flushes the lymphatic system, and just overall improves your mental and physical performance for the rest of the day. I don't add lemon or anything else to my water, just plain room temperature water from our Brita filter, and I take my time drinking it. I'll tell you one debate that's been raging in my family for a long time is, should you drink water room temperature or cold? I love cold water and I think room temperature water is just not satisfying, but my husband is a huge proponent of the Chinese medicine principle that you should not drink cold water, that it's not good for your body. So this is a debate that has been raging since we met. Drop me a comment below and let me know who you agree with. Are you on team room temperature water or team cold water. Something else that I always do every morning without fail is to make the beds. After everyone else is up and eating their breakfast, I will go into the bedrooms and make all the beds.
I don't worry at that point if toys are on the floor or clothes are out, but at that moment, simply focus on making the bed. This one little habit really puts me in a better mindset to be more focused and productive the rest of the day. After breakfast, before I get dressed, I also wash my face and brush my teeth. And my skincare products are really simple. I use this Desert Essence Facial Wash with tea tree oil because I find that if I don't use this face wash twice a day, I get an inflammation of my eyelids. And I'm still trying to figure out why that is. I do need a doctor's appointment at some point. After I finished washing my face and drying it off, I moisturized with Cetaphil. and I brush my teeth. Oral hygiene is so important. One study that I read found that each tooth you have in your mouth by age 70 reduces your five-year mortality rate by 4%. So people who brush and take care of their teeth literally live longer. So take good care of your teeth. My fifth daily habit is to plan my day, and I do this by making a to-do list. I've mentioned to you guys before how much I love the free Google Keep app so that I can take the notes, I can move them around if I need to, and check them off as I go. A daily to-do list really helps keep me on track, even on the busiest of days. It's truly a lifesaver for me as a minimalist mom trying to plan my day and the day of my family. So there you have it. Those are my top five minimalist morning routine habits for a better and brighter today and tomorrow. So if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that like button and maybe consider subscribing to my channel if you want to join our family. And don't forget to go check out the rest of the minimalist mom morning routine videos that I have linked down in the description box below. Anyway, I hope to see you again here next week. All right, take care, bye-bye.